First of all, let me just say thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. I really do appreciate it. You know, a couple weeks ago, I had a friend of mine approach me and he said, Travis, you know what the difference is between a salesperson and a large pepperoni pizza? <laughs> and I looked at myself, I've got no idea what is it. He said, well, a large pepperoni pizza can feed a family of four. Now we laughed about that for a minute, but I've always felt that the most successful salesperson that is effective and efficient at what he or she does can make just as much money as the most successful doctors or lawyers could ever make. Now, how do they do this? They do it through what I like to say as taking what makes sense and turning it into dollars. Now, what has made sense for Chase Marketing over the past 25 years? Well, it's forming partnerships with their advertisers where they both have some skin in the game. Obviously, the advertiser, for their part, is providing money to be spent on media. Chase Marketing Group, in their part, their skin in the game is that they have to take that, me that money and turn it into results. Now, that's been great, and it's provided a ton of loyalty. You know, Chase Marketing Group has never had to lose a client because of non-performance. But that's not enough to keep you growing. So what is Chase Marketing currently doing to grow? Well, their current strategy is that they network through some of their employees, friends, relatives, or business partners, or whatever it is, to grow their business. But more effective than even that is that they reach out to their existing clients who they've already provided these results for and say, you know, who is it that you know that we could do the same thing for? Whose business could we help grow just as much as we've, as we've grown yours? And that referral coming from that client that's already seen what Chase Marketing can do is tremendous, is invaluable. Now, a third component of any sales strategy, maybe not the most effective, but still important, is prospecting and cold calling through their own individual efforts by reaching out to local businesses, like I said, through cold calling and prospecting. Chase Marketing Group has still been able to grow their business. But, as your mom will tell you, what was good enough to get you to where you are today is not good enough to keep you there tomorrow. So, what does Chase Marketing do looking toward tomorrow? Well, Top Ad Media would suggest a new strategy. Instead of just forming partnerships, with your existing clients, where you both have skin in the game, why don't you reach out to a media vendor, in this case Top Ad Media, who will also have some skin in the game. Now, what is the purpose of making this partnership? Well, for Chase Marketing Group, you'll have access to Top Ad Media's entire client base. This will help Chase Marketing Group increase their own client base, and by doing so, as it's listed here, generate more revenue. So how does this whole process work out? Well, Top Ad Media will provide the client base, or the client list as I suggested, but more than that, we will send out the individual account rep that is responsible for each of those accounts to set up that meeting, that initial meet and greet, and to bridge that gap. Now by doing that, it's almost as if we're providing a referral for Chase Marketing Group. It, it, you know, it's, we've already provided results for our own clients and we are reaching out to them saying, hey, in addition to what you're already doing, this is what else we can do for you. Now, after that initial meet and greet, Chase Marketing Group will have a chance to go back and evaluate what was discussed and provide a marketing strategy. We'll go back to the client and say, okay, this is what we've come up with, this is what we'd like to do, and this is what we suggest that you do in order to grow your business the same way that we've done for some of our existing clients. And we are confident we can produce results for you. Finally, upon client approval, Chase Marketing Group will effectively uh, execute that marketing plan. So, now, I, I wanted to illustrate kind of the benefits for both companies here. You know, right now I've listed here three clients, clients A, B, and C, and I've represented their current spending with Top Ad Media, or their outdoor, you know, through billboards, right here in yellow. And as you can see on the graph, the yellow represents only a small portion of the total advertising budget. In some cases, it represents as little as 5 or 10 percent of what they're currently spending on their total advertising budgets. So what does this mean? Well, if you just look at one component of the advertising budget, you see right here at the top, just the tip of the iceberg. In this case, I've, I've listed client <coughs> C, who spends $5,000 a month on outdoor. Now, if Chase Marketing Group were to take that $5,000, place it, they would take the 15% commission that is standard for their, their business practice. That 15% equals $750. Now, $750 is great until you look at the whole iceberg as a whole, and you see that the whole advertising budget is actually $50,000, or 10 times what they're spending on outdoor. So when you do that math, you take 15% of $50,000, and that's a real number, $7,500 a month spent on advertising. Now, you're thinking, okay, well this is great, Chase Marketing Group is going to be making a lot more money. So what's in it for Top Ad Media? Well, by providing this initial meet and greet, and providing you with our client list, and any ongoing support that you need, Top Ad Media is asking for a small portion of what Chase Marketing will initially get, or essentially get, in this case 3% of the total spending, or which represents 20% of what Chase Marketing gets. So for every $10 of business we bring to you, we're only asking for $2 in return. 
So as you can see, it's a symbiotic relationship here where both companies benefit from this partnership. So just in summary, like I said, I think that Top Ad Media just makes sense to partner up with Chase Marketing Group. And by doing so, we'll be able to grow Chase Marketing's client base, their revenue, and as a, as a whole, a company. And I know that this all sounds great, and we believe that it's something that we should implement immediately because we feel like we're underserving our own clients by not providing all the services that Chase Marketing has, has to provide. So by forming this partnership immediately, we'll both be able to, we'll be able to service our clients' needs, and Chase Marketing Group will be able to grow their business. So thank you again for taking the time to speak with me today, and we look forward to doing business with you going forward.